Geneva. Smile. All right. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. We know that it's been a while, but today we're going to be walking you through our animal chores, uh, what we do in the mornings and what we do in the evenings. Right now, it's, we're pretty much on uh, maintenance mode for all of our animals, so it's not very taxing. Uh, but we're going to walk you all through what we do in the morning, so let's get to it. This is animal number one. This is our barn cat. He does not have a name. But he did have a name. But I have forgotten it since. What is it? It was Charles. But now we're just I was calling Charles, cat. but now I just call him cat. <laughs> and basically, I just feed him dog food when I feed Boone. And he seems to be OK. We try not to feed him too much because he is uh, he does have a purpose here on the farm, and it is to eat mice. So if we feed him too much, he doesn't want to eat any mice. So he's a little mice killer. He's a very chill cat. Uh, the girls love him. Geneva especially likes picking him up by the neck. We're trying to get rid of that. But <laughs> that's pretty much all we do. We just feed him dog food in the morning and make sure he's got some water around. Next, we're walking up to our bunny. We're going to get some more bunnies um, here soon. Basically, we just look at her, see she's all hopping around. We don't want her getting too big because she's our breeder. Uh, if they get too fat, then they kind of lose their um, drive to breed. We feed her about a half cup to one cup a day. It's not an exact science, um, but we just want to make sure that she maintains a good weight. We did have a buck over here in this cage, but sadly he died out on us a couple days ago. No rhyme or reason. We saw him in the morning. He was fine. And then Tiffany came out here around midday and he was passed on. We are getting a, another trio. So we'll get a buck and then we'll get two more does from a farm up the road. Um, hopefully soon. Right here is our watering system. So this is our reservoir that I fill up with water and it comes out here and tees off and it runs to our cages, it has a little nipple water right here. Um, and that's kind of how we make sure that they have water. Now in the evening, um, I come out here and she's had her food for the day, so I give her no more food until the uh, next day. And then I just kind of do this little number, make sure that they have water and that's it. Evening chores are pretty minimal around here. It's more of the morning chores that are heavier. And we are going to go do Ben, because I don't know if you can hear him, but he barks constantly until he gets his food. So I'd kind of like to try to do him first, because he's he can get annoying. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. Ah. All right. So now we come out here. It's a good, good time to check if Boone has water. No. We'll have to get him water. All right, so our morning chores with Boone, pretty much just feed, make sure he's got water, make sure his tether isn't, you know, tangled up. He's got a big, long reach he can go around. Now, Boone sits out here 24-7, so all day, all night. Um, we've got him tethered here, it's about a 50-foot lead. You kind of go in a big circle. And then I built him this dog house so he can kind of get out of the weather. But yeah, so this is it. This is pretty much our only uh, morning chore with Boone is that we come out here, we feed him, make sure he's got water, make sure he's not tangled up, uh, make sure he can go into his dog house whenever he feels like it, and also make sure that he can't reach the broilers. Because right now I think that he can get on top of it. So we're going to move them. Um, but he kind of startles them, kind of freaks them out, makes them turn into a frenzy. But yeah, so this is all we do with Mr. Boone. Uh, he's a good dog. He's about two years, two, three years old. I remember we got him when Ella was just born, right? So, yeah, he's about two years old now. We had a really bad hawk problem with our layers because our layers just kind of go. We don't really have like a covered thing for our layers. Uh, so just go around the property eating bugs. And we would lose some to stray dogs, coons, possums, hawks. Um, once we got Boone, I have not seen a, a hawk in two years since we've gotten Boone. Um, have not had any problem with predation. Um, the stray dogs have ceased to come around. It's really, it's really nice to have him around. But yeah, he's been a good, he's been a good dog. He barks though. 
But it's good. But it can be, you know, emotionally damaging sometimes. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to move on to our broilers. Our broilers are probably, I would say, what takes the most, but it's still very minimal as far as chores go. It's not a, they're not a cow. They're not sheep. They're not anything like that. Um, now, if you do a quick little look around, Tiffany does a quick little look around uh, at all the laying hens. Okay, so right now what you're seeing, all these laying hens, this is what you do not want, okay? Typically, I will shut them up in the coop at night, and that way I'm free to do all my feeding, all my watering, no disturbances. This is what you do not want right here, okay? Because now... I'm going to flip this lid open and get that food container out, that trough feeder, and they're just going to go wild. And they're going to get in my way. They're going to spill feed. This is not what you want. But it's, but it's what we got. So we're going to make the most of it. I'll take my little lid. See, they'll try to get into. They're like, nope. All right, come over here. I've got my containers kind of like thrown around the yard. That's because when I move it, these are 300 pound containers and they really are not fun just to wheel from the shop. So, it's David. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Stop, buddy. That's really gross, man. Oh! So, yeah. See how happy they are? Now is a great time to check the water. Now I've got these Plasson waterers, Plasson is the name brand, and they're great because you just come up to them. If there's no water in the trough, that means there's no water. Um, I've got to run in a plastic tube up to my reservoir. You come over here and look, we can look at it. So yeah, so got my five gallon bucket, drilled a hole through it, put the reservoir or put the, uh, put the hose to it, and then it just goes right to the water. And that way you could just go and say, oh look, no water, and then just fill it up. So it's very simple, very easy. We will go and we'll fill up the waters to like fulfill the morning chores. Now our evening chores for the broilers are essentially the exact same. The only difference is I move them uh, in the evening. Um, the reason I do that is because I leave for work around here around 7, um, 7, 10. And sometimes I don't get up as early enough for the birds to move them. So I just move them in the evening when I get home because there's still plenty of light and they're, you know, awake. That way they get uh, fresh grass um, they can eat on um, during the evening and you know, the next day. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the waters and the feeders of these next two tractors and then we will move on to the laying hens. All right, so now we're on to our laying hens. Um, we have about 25 to 30 layers. First thing that we do, come out here and check for eggs. Now on a typical day, I've shut the coop up. So I finish all my animal chores, and this is the last thing that I do, is I just open the coop, and they all flood out, and then I can check for eggs. So not a very typical day, because they're already out and about, and I'm sure some are still in the laying boxes. Once I open that coop door, the laying boxes, the laying box hens that are like laying eggs, something like that, they just go out. Now, I would feed them, but they already got their food for the day, as you probably saw. <laughs> They eat that. They eat out of the trough feeders pretty good, so um, I'm not going to feed them today. But they have a little kiddie pool over there they drink from, so that's their water. They've gotten their feed, and then now just check for eggs. All right, so we'll come back here for the eggs, and now these are kind of my good girls. Like, they won't um, peck me or anything like that, and they don't get too torn up 
if I um, take eggs out from under and eat them? Okay, now she's mean. Okay, now she, you don't want to mess with her because she will get you. So I'm going to put her back. Yes, I know she is. If you stick a finger, if you stick a finger through there, she'll get it. She'll get it. I've, she's gotten me several times. Now these, these girls, you just kind of pet them, kind of make sure that they're loved and everything like that. I love you. Thank you so much for your eggs. Now if they are sitting on eggs, I'll leave one egg in there. Because if you take them all, they get, they get kind of upset. So our evening chores are pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Um, you know, they don't get any feed at night. I feed everybody in the morning. Now, one thing that we do is every couple days, we will shut the coop up and we'll move it forward one inch because they do about 50% of their manure droppings at night. So they can burn out a piece of ground pretty fast. So every two, three days, we will move that. And that way they have a nice, fresh spot to fertilize. So the last thing that we have today is the duck pool. This is pretty much our source of water um, at the moment for all of our birds. So it's just this kiddie pool right here. The ducks will get in there, they'll clean themselves off, and the chickens will come up and drink. So let's fill it up. One thing I did forget was our turkey poults. So we have turkeys in the shop in the brooder right now. Basically, it's making sure that they have food, that they have water, that they have not somehow escaped out of the brooder, which sometimes they do. Um, so yeah, just those three things, just check and make sure. So it's very minimal for the turkeys. Um, when they get up to pasture, then I'll be moving them, you know, every so often. But right now, very minimal. Now we have these turkeys uh, to sell at Thanksgiving. We have some people who wanted some, so we bought some and we'll raise them for them and uh, sell them about a week before Thanksgiving. All right, real quick, this is not part of our animal chores, but we thought it was really, not, we thought it was cool. So uh, my lawnmower broke, so we didn't mow the grass for about, about a month. So the grass got about to this tall. Uh, now what we do, you know, we cook, we cook at home cook meals, Tiffany, or Tiffany does, and we throw all the scraps out into the yard. Well. Here is a scrap. We cooked butternut squash one night and a seed has supplanted itself in the ground. And so now, mow the yard. And I was like, I'm not mowing this patch. So this is a butternut squash patch that grew, <laughs> that grew um, when the yard was growing up. So we do have several butternut squashes growing in here. Here's one right here. There's one, there's two, there's a bloom. There's a bloom right here. That'll be one. Um, here's another one. That joker's massive. So that's awesome. This is completely, this is a free range butternut squash plant. We do not water it. We do not fertilize it. This is all from one seed. All from, this, is, this is all from the Lord, okay? This is not, this is nothing to do of ourselves. Whoa! Now that is the big one. But yeah, so we thought that was neat, so we're going to show y'all. All right, guys, so that wraps up our chores, our, uh, our morning and evening chores and what we do around here. Um, to conclude, we have the cat who eats mice and keeps my shop clear of mice. We have the rabbits who will give us meat, hopefully, maybe, one day, the Lord wills. Um, we have our broilers. Uh, they give us meat, and we also sell them, so they give us money so that we can buy stuff. Um, we have our dog who guards the flock, um, guards, the guards the flock from the air predators and from the ground predators. He's great. Uh, we have our laying hens who give us fresh, delicious eggs. And we have our ducks. But that's just for my wife, because she likes looking at them. Um, so they do have a function. They do have a function. It's just for her. I think that wraps it up. I think that's wraps it up. I think that's all the predators that we know of, hopefully. All the, wait, 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 wait. Back it up. That's all the animals that uh, we have here on the farm. This takes me about six hours every morning to do, because I want to put my heart and soul into it. You know, I don't want to rush things. I want to actually do things like this, and I want to really, you know, no, this takes me about 45 minutes, maybe, max, if I do it all. But sometimes I don't, and I get up late, and Tiffany has to 
pick up my slack. So this takes me, if I do it all, this takes me about 45 minutes uh, to do all the animals. All right, thank y'all for watching and uh, we will see y'all back next time. Bye y'all.